There we go. <clears throat> hey guys, Christian here. Um, and I wanted to do a part three uh, to the market dominating position um, live videos uh, that I've been teaching where essentially uh, what I'm trying to press is that you no longer, you don't want to compete with other detailers, right? You want to dominate them. You want to stop with the competition, hey Eric, and position yourself in a way to where it's no longer apples to apples, it's apples to oranges, right? So you want an apple, you want an orange, and ideally we want to position ourselves in such a way that people hate on or hate apples and they only want oranges, okay? That's the ultimate idea here. Um, and on the past two, there has been absolutely an insane buzz um, of comments and I'm literally flooded with uh, with messages like insane amounts of messages um, some people getting it some people not getting it hey man um, so today I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna talk about a revelation that um, the guys in my beta group um, that I work with one-on-one -on -one, um, the guys in my beta group last night when we were having our video conference and speaking with each other, the revelation that they all had, right, that, that absolutely changed their complete idea of how to position themselves in their market, right, and how to completely dominate other detailers and no longer have to, hey, Lee, what's going on, man, and no longer have to compete, right, just squash them, right, to put themselves where it's LeBron James against my two-year-old niece, right? So. Uh, also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just talk about that for a second, and then if there's anybody who wants to come on and discuss this with me, maybe you don't get it, maybe you disagree, um, as long as we can keep it professional and mature, um, I will welcome on some guys to discuss this with me. So you just let me know on these comments here if you'd like to hop on, and when the time comes, I'll bring you on here and we can discuss things. So, basically, here's what we did. Last night I discussed with the guys how we're going to create our market dominating positioning and what we're going to say in our advertising, what we're going to push, okay, and what we're not going to talk about at all, right? And if we do, very, very minimally, right? Very little of it, okay? So here, here's, here's where we started this. We began by discussing what does every prospect 100% expect of a detailer, right? If a detailer cannot do this, they're not going to hire them, right? What does all of our prospects completely expect of a detailer, right? So we start listing them out. Um, so, you know, there's the things like courteous, professional, on time, cleans up after himself, competent, knowledgeable, right? Um, knows what he's doing, has a great eye for detail, right? No stains, the headliner's perfectly clean, the paint, nice, glossy, shiny, smooth, slick tires, no streaks on the windows, right? Um, licensed and insured, right? So all of these things that we, that we all, right, all 99% of detailers like to push, right? All of these things that, that the prospects are expecting, okay? And then here's what I let the guys know. Here's the thing, we listed about 40 something things, right? And then after we listed all of these things that are expected, here's what I let the guys know, okay? All 40 of these things and all 40 of things like this, right? We are never going to push in our advertising. Never, 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 ever. And if you mention it, it's in passing, very minimally, just to maybe take up some landscape or to just have it there, right? And this is why. Here's the example I can give you to tell you why you're not going to advertise these things. One, there's nothing unique about it. Everyone's saying it. If they got online and they looked up 100 different detailers' websites, they're all going to be saying that. That absolutely zero is unique about the fact that you know what you're doing and you're insured and you're professional and you're competent and you're on time, right? It's kind of like this. It's kind of like if Tiffany & Co., right, the jewelers, right, if they put out an advertisement that said, all of our diamonds are 100% real. You see how ridiculous that would be? It would be like, duh, like I would hope that they were real diamonds. And that's what detailers look like 
when their main selling points are, I'm not an ordinary detailer. I'm a great detailer. I take pride in my work. I know what I'm doing. I'm licensed and insured. I show up on time. I'm professional, courteous, and have great customer service. It's just the same as if Tiffany & Co. was to say, uh, our diamonds are real, guys. They expect that. And the amazing thing was, I did not tell the guys that this is what your prospects are expecting. They told me. They let me know. Right? So then we progressed, we progressed from there, right, to what does a prospect 0% expect of a detailer? Never in a million years would they ask this of a detailer. And so we listed like 50 or 60 things, right? But here, here was a few of those things that we listed. Hey, Danny, what's going on, man? Uh, just to catch you up real quick, this is part three. I'm talking about a revelation that my, uh, my beta group that I work with had last night when we discussed all of the things that are expected of detailers and that we will never advertise those. And if so, very minimally. So we take them on and I'll say, all right, guys, now all of the things they would never in a million years expect of a detailer. What are they? Let's list them. So we got to about 55. I'm going to keep it short. Here's what we got to, okay? Um, ch check the oil. Check the tire pressure. Check the tire depth. Um, buy them a Disney vacation, right? Uh, take them out for a round of golf. Inspect their roof. Uh, put new shingles on the ceiling. Build them a sunroom on their back porch. Okay, that's just a few of them. Now, we can all agree, I hope, that this is 0% chance that a prospect would ever expect their detailer, right, to build them a sunroom, to reshingle their roof, to check their oil, their tire pressure, their tire depth, to uh, scan their OBD scanner for codes, right, to pressure wash their driveway and cut their grass. Things like that would never be expected of a detailer, right? But let's just take those few things and let's total up imaginary what it would cost for them to solve those problems for themselves, right? So let's say reshingling a roof, we'll call that, let's just be ultra conservative. Let's just call that $500 for a full roof to be completely stripped and reshingled. Let's say building a sunroom will be modest, we'll call that $1,200. And, <laughs> and that would be an absolute steal for a sunroom. Let's say cutting the grass, we'll call that 100 bucks. They'll trim the hedges and edge and kill the weeds. Um, and one more thing, let's say uh, to check the OBD scanner, you go to a shop, they'll probably charge you $75. So we're at $1,000, 1200 we're at $2,200, and then we've got oddball, maybe $150, we'll just say that. So like $2,300, bucks, we will say. That's what it would cost them to solve these issues for themselves. Now, imagine they come to you and they say, Christian, how much for a detail, right? And let's say, just to be, just to be uh, you know, arbitrary numbers again, Let's say that the average detail is $200, and I tell them, my detail, okay, is $550, okay, but the average detail is $200, they're going to laugh me out of the room, they're going to leave, okay, but now let's position it this way, they come into the shop, Christian, how much for a detail? I say, well, look, let's go sit down in the office, we'll talk about this, so he comes back in the office, we sit down, and I say, look, man, the detail is $550, right, but... The nice shiny car is merely a side effect of what we do here. See, what I'm actually going to give you along with this is this big fat phone book size manila folder with $2,300 worth of all of your problems solved inside here, right? And again, we're being mighty conservative with this, but that man came into my shop expecting to pay for a detail and left with $2,300 in his wallet. Right? So, let me ask you this. What detailer in your area is having people come in and then turn away and leave with $2,300 in their wallet? Zero. What they're trying to do is to get these guys in here and sell them what they're already expecting of the detailer, which is to know what they're doing, to have a clean shop, to be courteous, to clean up after themselves, to, to be able to produce the results, right? But if one detailer moved into your area and he could provide that $2,300 manila folder of all their problems solved, right? There is 0% chance that they will pick another detailer over you 
unless they just absolutely were flat broke and couldn't even afford the basic thing you had, which you could always scale it down, you know, to meet their needs, right? You could have your down sales. So at this point, now it's apples and oranges. There's literally nobody who can compete with you. If one guy came in and could just build just a thousand dollar manila folder of all of their problems solved, they don't even have to do the problem to solve the problem themselves. Again, like I said, they'll link up with John and they'll link up with the landscape guys and they'll build this where they'll do the work and it's a mutually beneficial relationship. So now when your customers come, it's no longer about how much is the detail and how good of a detailer are you, something they didn't really care about to begin with. Now, it's about the fact that I'll have a nice car as a side effect of what this company does. Because what they really do is solve all of my problems. Literally. Like I said, we could go on for years with the problems we want to solve. Okay? And so the guys, the guys, when, when, when they had this, this thing, this light bulb flip off, it was absolutely incredible to see their faces when they see holy, you know, no one is doing this, but I could do this. So then the question was, how do, we, how do we make money like that, though? How can we possibly solve all of their problems and still be profitable, right? Well, it comes down to the bare basics of the lifetime value of a customer, right? So let's put the shoe on the other foot. I'm not even going to speak from the perspective of the, the guys I'm partnering with. Let's look at it from the detailer's perspective, right? The lifetime value, value on average for a customer in my business I'll be conservative here so, so that the numbers won't seem crazy. But let's say they pay me $300 you know, three times a year, right? I can get them to come in every four months, pay me $300. So it's $900 a year on average. They might stay with me three years or so. They might move out of town after that. So it's $2,700 is the lifetime value of, a, value of a customer for me. Now we all understand how hard it is to get qualified prospects into our business and convert them into paying customers, right? You can spend hundreds of dollars on Facebook ads, put up a million live videos, buy a mailing list, send out 50,000 postcards, go to the local car show, pass out flyers and cards and talk to everybody. It's hard, man. It's really hard, right? But if I partnered with a, a dealer, right, and the dealer could send me brand new cars, he could send me as many of them as he, want, as he wants, but let's just, let's just say that He's an okay de dealer, and he can send me three to five a month. And I and only 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 stipulation is I've got to do the details for free. I got to do a wash and wax for free, or something like that. Something just essential. Just get a layer of protection on there. Nothing too crazy, right? That's the only deal. So now I've got five customers every month coming to me 100% free. I've just got to do about an hour worth of work, okay? But the man has left me all this potential to grow. So I can upsell, cross-sell, downsell. I can get them on a, a continuity program where they're paying me every month. Because if I can lock down just one of those five to pay me, not even monthly, just three times a year for three years, each of those customers that comes to me is $2,700 in value. So if I can just lock down one a month, I'm locking down $2,700 in lifetime value to my client list, right? So at the end of that year, that's 12 people I've added at $2,700 average on, of value. So we're looking at what, $2,400 uh, plus about fourteen, dollars I think. So we're looking at like $25,000 or so that we've added there. Uh, I think I did my math right on that. I apologize if not. Um, but it's a lot, right? And, and it's for free. Really, you're just doing your little bit of work that costs you nothing. It costs you absolutely nothing. Your time and maybe 2 or $3 worth of product. Maybe, right? <laughs> continuity. Well, you know, if you don't have continuity, you don't have a business. That's just the word that I like. They continue to play, but uh, <laughs> I guess you can use a different word. That's just the, the word that's branded into my mind. Um, so that was the revelation that the guys come to. So you can see how that's ultimately beneficial to you, right? A deal like that, right? And what that dealer is doing is doing what I've just said that we could do, solving one of their problems without doing it themselves, thus stacking the value of their business, right? And they didn't have to pay anybody an hourly rate. They didn't have to order any products. They don't even have to have a wash base. Someone else is doing that. And it benefits absolutely insanely well to the detailer. So when you partner up with John's Auto Body Shop, 
and it's in the reciprocal. If John understands what I just told you, like we understand it, then he'll take that deal all day long because the lifetime value of these customers at just one a month can skyrocket his business and it costs him literally nothing. You created the lead, you referred it to him and a referred lead is basically a warm ride on the edge of hot lead immediately because they were referred by somebody they trust. So they're a thousand times more likely to stay with you and spend more money with you. So it was just absolutely incredible to see that revelation. Um, now, I know there's gonna be some people who still don't get it, who still think I'm a quack, who think I'm crazy. And if this just doesn't really apply, there's this reality disconnect or something like that. Um, so with this part three, the revelation, let's see, I found that when advertised, people get confused on that word, LOL. Yeah, maintenance program. That's exactly what it is. That's how I push it to VIP maintenance programs. I don't call it a content. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, if you're advertising it to the customer, they're, they're kind of like, you know. So yeah, obviously the the uh, the psychology of it's got to be changed. But in our business language, um, B2B, that's just the word that I use. But yeah, maintenance program is more applicable in the sense of a detailing business. Um, but so that's why I want to open this up to discussion. So if anybody wants to come on here, I can actually add you here and we can kind of bounce back and forth on it and talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. That that's that's another deal. I mean it's the same deal. You do it for for free people. Do you want to hop on here and chat? I think I can add people through here, right? I don't think we're blocked on that, are we? I believe you can add people. Yeah, I can add you on here, dude, if you want to tell us about it. Tell us what you're doing. Or if maybe Danny want if Danny's still on here. I know he was chatting with me the other day. If he wants to get on here, I know. He kind of didn't. He didn't think that this was an applicable business model or an applicable campaign. Um, so you can come on here as well, and we can talk about it and just kind of answer the questions. Just because you know it's hard when there's like 90 comments under the video to really help people to to understand the what, what's going on, you know, and to really get it. Heading out on a detail. That's totally fine, man. Um, that's totally fine. I just wanted to make it available to anybody that wanted to get on here with me just because on the past couple It's been some extreme extreme extreme. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's do it man. Boom It should be getting you in here I think Oh, you declined it. No, don't decline it. There, it might work now. That's hey, not... big dog, there we go. <laughs> you a horizontal guy, huh? Yeah, I like to do it like that just for the people that turn the camera. I'm gonna teach you a trick. When you're on Facebook, don't be horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, well, that's one of the marketing guru, guru things that I've been taught over the years is when you're, when you're posting to media that's going to be sideways, do it sideways, like websites and YouTube and such. But I, don't, I only have a minute. I just wanted to share real quick. If you go on Reddit right now, we have a post that one of our customers posted. It's got 83,000 yeah, 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 yeah. views. Yeah, so that has turned into, well, I, I haven't closed all the deals, but it'll turn into over $2,500. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm I don't use Reddit. I, I'm actually blown away that this guy put it on. This is new for us to have a post go viral like that. It's pretty cool. So, I like what you're putting down. I don't I don't so much like the idea of doing business with dealers because I hate dealers. Well, but yeah, well that's the just principle exactly. is there. I, I, yeah, arbitrary arbitrary deals. We can do it, you know, with anywhere else. But yeah, that you're exactly right. That one thing you're talking about doing that free detail, which was, you know, that was just a gift from your heart. It really wasn't even a burden or a cost at all. Right. Correct. But it gives you the opportunity to bring in all this business. And, and in, in your particular instance, it's through referrals and like affiliation. Right. So you've got like this super salesman for your business now who's out here like you've got to go to you've got to go here. Dude, this, look, this is amazing. You've got to go check this guy out. And it was all right. Well, I, I think 
the, the biggest thing that, that needs to be pointed out, I mean, you talk about quality, you talked about, you know, the manila folder full of, of solving their needs. That's the who you are. And I preach about that all the time. Put the who you are and what you do. If you're doing that free detail, show them everything about who you are. I mean, we're talking your, your characteristics, yeah. your character, your integrity, like preach about that shit. So many people don't. They don't talk about it. They make a mission statement. Then you ask them what their mission statement is, and they don't have a clue. Yeah. That's what these free deals, it's not just a free detail. It's a marketing yeah. expense. And it's, you can write it off. That's the biggest part that drives me nuts is people are like, yeah. I'm not doing anything for free. I'm like, well, you're right. You're not. You're writing it off. What's your problem? Yeah. Don't spend $700 on the Facebook ads. Do one free yeah. detail, and you're going to get $10,000 worth of work from them. Ah, you're giving me goosebumps, man. <laughs> That's my business model, man. We've grown over the last two years. I started with the Bissell in the back of a Ford, Ford uh, Focus, a little yeah. tiny car, ripped the seats out and everything so I could fit all my equipment in there. And we've grown to now, you know, we've, we've upgraded three different vehicles. Now we have a van that we fill and I'm looking for a shop now. We did $145,000 last year. Our first year we did 75. Awesome. You know, it's, and that's how we did it. You know, we, we do an event. If you, if you follow the hashtag Operation Mission Detail, that's the who we are and what we do. I touch lives through details. That's my goal. That's my motto. That's what my company represents. And that's why we've grown them. So ah. I love what you're putting down, man. You're going to get a lot of resistance in these groups. I'm telling you, but I love it. I got to get going, though. I got to get to this detail. Hey, man, th thanks for coming on here, dude. And I just want to point out, everybody, this is the vet. This is the vet <laughs> telling you this. So <laughs> it's I think I just I got called on. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it, man. Get out there and keep hustling, dude. Changing lives through detailing. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Uh, you too, man. I think I, I, there we go. Yep. All right, guys. So that was awesome. Thank you for that, man. That was absolutely awesome for you to come on and say that real quick. So I hope this provides a lot of value to you guys um, and kind of answers a few questions that you might have had. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really not it's really not a cost. It's really not an expense. And like <laughs> Jonathan said, you can write it off if you want. Um, so it's it's a beautiful model. And if you can help other people, other businesses, and in, in his example, um, you know another person whose car was stolen. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, and it will explode your business because other people aren't doing this kind of thing, man. Other people are not doing it. So. Um, if you don't like, like again, if you don't like the dealer idea, do it some, do it in another way. You know, you could do it with a daycare center, and you know, do something for moms or something. I don't know, just whatever, whatever you think, man. But I just wanted to to go into that, show you guys the revelation that some guys I work with had last night that was absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna get out of here. Hope this provided a lot of value to you guys. Till next time.